Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Duluth, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. The New York Times actually got a Pulitzer Prizes for reporting on Russiagate, which is a made yeah. up, which was a made up conspiracy theory. Yeah. I think the Washington Post actually took their articles off the website. I haven't checked. But somebody told me that. Well, the all, articles were all debunked by the Mueller report. They were all complete fabrications. But they, I mean, I, then we got the rape. Remember the rape story? Uh, you mean on <laughs> New York uh, Times? You mean October seventh? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, staggering. But the, uh, completely fab, complete, complete fabrications. They didn't have any. They didn't find any victim. They didn't find anybody who, who claimed to have been raped. And then they hired this woman who'd been in. Uh, she'd worked for the Israeli Air Force and intelligence, never been a journalist at all. I mean, it was just, I mean, as somebody who comes out of that organization, I, I, I don't think that would have happened when I was there. I mean, that's just another example of the free fall of, of American journalism. So when you see the New York Times reporters get, uh, reporters get a Pulitzer Prize for reporting a completely well, false story, uh, which is a, the most easily dumbest debunked conspiracy theory of my lifetime, which was Russiagate, because uh, I was able to debunk it. Um, do you, First of all, do you think they're going to give their Pulitzer Prizes back? And second, how does it make you feel about your Pulitzer Prize? Well, I was sort of cynical about the Pulitzer Prize anyway, uh, because I worked for the New York Times, where... Uh, they give a lot of money to Columbia University, which administers the Pulitzer Prizes, to make sure they get lots of Pulitzer Prizes. Uh, we had an incident where John Burns uh, was a reporter. He'd done reporting out of Afghanistan on the Taliban. He wasn't in the shortlist. The Times had a fit. And uh, it turns out even though he wasn't on the shortlist, he still wins the prize. I mean, so I kind of – and I also, having won other journalistic prizes, know that committees simply called up the editor-in-chief of the New York Times and I – and the recipient of some of those prizes, and said, who should we give the prize to? And he said, oh, I'll give it to Hedges for his stuff on Kosovo. I'm just citing a real example. And lo and behold, I get tried. It's complete. <laughs> I don't know how it is in Hollywood, Jimmy, but it's <laughs> probably just as sleazy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it, – so I – I and you know what? Honestly, the best journalists don't get Pulitzer Prizes. I can list you great, great journalists that have never gotten Pulitzers, and uh, let's never forget that Judy Miller has a Pulitzer. So, uh, Did Seymour uh, Hersh yeah. ever get one? I don't know, but there you go. I mean, he was pushed out of the New York Times, you know, and now he can't even publish in the United States. I, I know. I helped him set up a Substack. So well, after he exposed the complete lie about the the mythical narrative about the hunt for bin Laden and, you know, he, he's an amazing reporter. Yeah. I mean, he's remember Abu Ghraib. He's just, I love Cy. I have very few pictures of journalistic icons in my office, but he's one of them. Uh, yeah. He can't even, they, they pushed him out and they, and they pushed him out of the times when he went after golf and Western and golf and Western, which on Paramount pictures, Charlie Bluthorn, it was completely mobbed up. And he used to have the publisher of the time, Sulzberger, over at his private screening room. He said, who's this guy, Sires? Next thing you know, Sires is out. He's out. So uh, uh, Sy said, you know, it was ominous that when he couldn't, he was not allowed to publish the what he'd found out about Gulf and said He realized that it was now impossible to go after corporate America. That's in his memoir, Reporter, which is a great book. Um, yeah, he said, at that point, I realized I could not go after, it's impossible in mainstream media to go after corporate America. Well, in Hollywood, I'll never forget, uh, they used to give, uh, they used to have this thing called the Comedy Awards, and it was on NBC, and uh, they, they had a category there for the best club comedian. And, you know, this is, and I remember the great Rich Jenny, uh, the late great Rich Jenny, uh, had won, won, won that award. And when he got up to receive his award, he said, you know, getting a comedy award is a lot like getting a venereal disease. Uh, nobody deserves one, but if you fuck around long enough, you're, you're bound to get one. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I've always felt that way about awards. And, uh, 
you know, when you watch the Oscars and you see them give the awards to to the people who did this, the the documentary on the white helmets. The white helmets is a complete yeah. intelligence operation. Yeah, yeah. And, and I knew that was garbage. And then the last year they gave it to the people who did it on the Maidan coup, and that was also garbage. Yeah. Right? yeah. So when I when I when my show on RT was nominated for an Emmy, it was best informational host. And so I went to the Emmy and made sure I wrote a story about, you know, uh, of just making fun of the Emmy so I'd never get nominated for another one. And when I got there, uh, it was – they showed a clip, you know, from my show. And I'm inter- I interviewed Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, who's like the leading Islamic scholar. I mean, this is totally wonky, serious. And my competition was Steve. You know, Steve Harvey, is that his last yes, name? You know? Yes, yes. And it was like – Showed a clip. It was so goofy. It was like two married couples, and he's making fun of one of them. And I don't know, does he fart in bed or I don't know what it was, something like this. And and then they come out for the and rip open the envelope, and they go, and the winner is Steve. <laughs> uh, and I'm going, am I am I supposed to take this seriously? <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's, uh, it's best, the best informational host. Best in- he doesn't have a, <laughs> we lost out. I don't know how RT ever got nominated. Anyway, that we, I don't know how we slipped through the cracks on that one, but uh, I that made must sure be. I wasn't going to get the prize. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Duluth, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm-hmm.